Hey guys, it's me, Melly. Um, I'm just trying to figure out my camera just a little bit. Okay. So, this video um, is going to be a book haul from the dollar store that I got today. Um, I didn't go to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, for books. I went for cat food for my kitty. Um, well, yeah, not my kitty. It's my daughter's kitty, and it was her turn to learn responsibility of taking care of her animal and so she gave me a couple dollars even though she's 10 she had some spend the money to go buy cat food because the cat seems to like the dollar tree cat food that they have that's similar to cat chow but she wouldn't like eat cat chow anyway so <clears throat> i actually saw um i mean i was just looking um at the books i wasn't going to buy anything um because that wasn't my purpose, but I saw some books, and I figured, for a dollar, or why not? So the first book I got, um, I actually, my my daughter actually had. She bought it from the Scholastic Book Fair and last year, and she lost it. But she had it, and then she wanted the second book in the series. And I bought her the second book, um, which was the original covers. And she somehow misplaced the first book in school someplace. Or somebody picked it up. Who knows? Anyway, so I was in a dollar store and I saw Beautiful Creatures, which is the first book. She actually had the original um, book, which was the purple copy. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and she has the second book, which I don't know where it's at. But she has, it's the blue copy. I actually have that one I bought that for her and I um bought the book for her this is the I guess movie cover version of it um there's a glare so anyway this is the movie cover version or the yeah the movie cover version so because it says now major most motion picture and it's by Cammy Garcia and Margaret Stahl 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 anyway so I kept looking for the original purple cover and I couldn't find it anywhere and short of ordering it online and paying, I don't know, a good penny for it. Um, I saw it in Dollar Tree and I was like, hey, why not? So um, I actually wanted to read it and I was kind of upset that she, that's why I bought the second one since she had the first one because I wanted to read the series and she lost it before I got a chance to read it. So I picked it up. So that's the first one. The second book I got... I got three. The second book I got was The Eloquence of Blood by Judith Rock. And this is, I guess, a, this is, takes place in Paris at Christmas time in 1686. Um, and it's a, despite the spirit, well, I'll just read the back, little blurb. Um, and despite the spirit of season, the renowned Lewis the Grand School is besieged by financial hardship, though it's rumored that a bequest is forthcoming from the Minette family. But then rhetoric teacher Charles de Luc meets a young woman named Martine who claims the same inheritance. All she needs is to locate the document proving her identity. The difficult situation turns tra tragic when Martine is found murdered inciting anti-Jesuit Jesuit? sentiments and accusations of conniving to obtain money. Already drawn into Martine's plight, Charles will not rest until he finds her murderer and clears the school's name, uncovering long buried secrets that still have the power to kill. Okay, so I'm going to say it's a historical thriller. Um, it says it's a historical debut, a superb historical debut by Publishers Weekly. And then let me see if I can get this sticker off the back from wherever this came from. It says, short to satisfy those eager for a great new historical mystery. Book list. Starred review. So, I'm going to say it's a historical mystery. I actually like the cover of it, if you can see it. It's kind of creepy looking. So, I was like, oh, okay. You know, never heard of Judith Rock. But maybe I discovered a new um, author. I'm sorry, I didn't give you any detail on Beautiful Creatures, and the reason why I didn't do that is because I'm pretty sure that all you guys know about Beautiful Creatures by now, so I didn't really feel the need to give you a blurb. 
the third and final book that I got um, is Zoe Letting Go. And I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Zoe or Zoe. I believe it's Zoe. Um, might be Zoe. Anyway, by Nora Price. And it's on the back cover it says Zoe. Zoe it's Zoe because um, Zoe Circumstances. So that's how you pronounce it. Not Zoe's because it don't sound right. Anyway, Zoe Circumstances will resonate with fans of Jay Asher's 13 Reasons Why. So, I've heard of 13 Reasons Why I was going to pick it up, but I was kind of holding off on it. Um, and just real quick, um, it says, Zoe knows she doesn't belong in the hospital, so why is she in one? So, and it says, Nora Price's debut novel is a heart-wrenching meditation on the bonds of friendship with a gripping psychological twist establishing her as a talented young author to watch so i actually picked up the book because one i like the cover wait where am i at i like the cover um and if i like a cover then if the cover piques my interest then of course i'm going to grab the book um and the description which i'm not going to go into um kind of got me plus the the little comparison the 13 reasons why um kind of caught my um interest so i'm going to try to read this one too so there are the three um that i picked up excuse me i want to drink a little bit of tea <clears throat> from Dollar Tree today um and I guess that's it I'm actually going to go on a book buying ban because I have so many books I need to read that it's starting to become ridiculously crazy so I'm going on a book buying ban what whether it's from the Dollar Tree or even the credits I have in this used, used bookstore that's called book traders I have some credits um, but I'm going to hold off on them. Um, sorry if there's background noise. My husband's watching TV in the other room. So anyway, so there are the three I got today. Um, and this will probably be the last book haul you see for a while. So I guess that's it for this Sunday night book haul from the Dollar Tree. So everybody have a good rest of your Sunday night. And I will see you guys Again, um, um, one more video to do. It's a TBR that I'm going to do for the rest of September. Um, and probably that'll be my last video for the month on TBRs and book calls. So, guys, have a good night and talk to you soon. Bye.